Rehaka Steamboat Springs, Colorado on January the 17th. And I wanted to do a little video that I take to go skiing. I'm going to show you today all my clothes that I wear while we're out there. Not my ski clothes, but just my regular everyday clothes. So keep watching and I'm going to show you what I take with me to a ski resort. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh! Here we go. When we went five years ago, I looked for videos on this and it was very hard to find. You could find what to wear skiing, but you couldn't find what to wear while you're just out there hanging out. Not saying that what I do is right or wrong, because it may be totally wrong. We are from Alabama and we don't have snow or really cold temperatures. But this is what works for me and what I like to do. And I'm just hoping that maybe some of the tips will help people out there. We're going for nine days. So for me, <laughs> I don't like to wear what looks like the same outfit twice. I just not saying anything is wrong with it because like my husband says, nobody's going to know you wore it the day before or a few days before. But I just, I like wearing different outfits every day. I'm going to show you how I take several tops several bottoms and make a bunch of different outfits out of that same thing. So we're going to be there for nine days. Typically you would need nine outfits. I'm going to take and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have 13 outfits. So I have nine outfits plus four alternates. Yes, what I like today, I might not like the day that I get out there. I might put it on and be like, oh, I hate this. If you're a woman, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a guy, sorry, you just put on whatever and it doesn't bother you. <laughs> but I'm sure the women know what I'm talking about. The very first thing I say is the biggest essential thing is boots. A good pair of snow boots. You know, I, I, I've wore different ones out there. And not that I'm experienced at this. We only go a few times a year. But Columbia makes some of the best snow boots that you can get pretty cheap. These are my favorite. They're discontinued now. But I have these in black, salmon, and a brown. Because that's typically what all I have ever taken. I love these. I want to say that I got them on clearance for like $69. Which for a good pair of snow boots is not bad at all. Because... You can spend $150, $200, $300. These keep my feet warm and dry, and they're comfortable, which is all perfect. I did buy a new pair this year from Columbia. I bought this new pair this year from Columbia. I got them on Cyber Monday. I paid $59. They're $110, and I paid $59 for them. A little warmer, where like these slip-ons, they're still really warm for me, and I love them but the waist up are gonna be a little bit warmer. The next thing that I think that is very important and it's something you see everybody out there wearing is leggings. Everybody wears leggings. I buy some fleece leggings. And when I say just buy fleece leggings, these are ones that I got off of like jane.com. I think I paid $7 a piece for them. I've got a blue pair, a gray pair, and a black pair. Because majority of the time you're wearing your ski clothes during the days, there would be some days that you'll wear them all day, but you're not going to be sweating in them. And I re-wear mine a couple of times. So I try to have a couple of outfits with each color. Old fleece leggings that I paid 7 or $8 for. They're perfect. Out there, keeps your legs warm. My daughter-in-law, she'll put some thermals on and then put these over it because she's a little colder natured than I am which that works great too. Now I'm gonna kinda of show you some of the outfits and how I style them so that you can get multiple uses out of several different clothes. This is my first base outfit. We just build off of this base and I can get several outfits. This is outfit two. 
All I've done is added a vest and it makes the whole outfit look different. If I want to make it a little more dressy, I throw on a pretty scarf made a dressy outfit. Now I have on my navy leggings and I have like a casual outfit that I can wear with them. And then this outfit's a little probably more dressier than the other outfit, but that gives me two things that I can wear with my navy leggings. This is my next base outfit. I have a beige shirt, just like the black one that I had before. They're like a fleece and they're really warm and long, really different, and it's a little more dressier looking. This particular vest has a removable fur collar. Next, you could just throw on, throw some scarves, which don't take up much room in your luggage. You can find another scarf and put it on and have a totally different look with that as well. Now, I just have my gray leggings on and I have a few different tops that goes with these gray leggings. It's just a sweatshirt with a scarf. I, this one I've just thrown on a Sherpa top with a scarf. It's just a white sweatshirt with a Sherpa vest over the top. So for 12 looks, I'm taking eight tops and three pants. And then I'm just taking some vest and some scarves to make new outfits out of those. That way, if you're kind of like me and you don't want to wear the same thing, you don't want it to look like you've worn the same thing every day, you just change out. Another very important thing to take with you is toboggans. I've got several here that I bought. I like this, the CC brand. And they, the reason you want to, for me, the days that I wear my toboggan is the days that it is snowing because your hair will end up getting wet, makes you cold. So a toboggan is great. Now, let me tell you something else. Don't get just a regular toboggan. Like this toboggan, it's regular on the inside and it's great and it works good. But if you can get one with a fleece lining in it, it keeps your head warmer. I have this one that's got fleece in it. I've got this one that has fleece in it. And then this one is fleece. So I recommend if you're gonna have to go buy new toboggans, buy ones with fleece that are in the inside because it really helps keep your head a lot warmer. And if you notice, I'm taking four toboggans. I've got black, I've got navy, and I've got like a brown color because you want them to match your leggings. Also remember that on some of the outfits that you take, if you feel like you're gonna even be colder, you can take like a thermal top and wear underneath it. Another thing that I would suggest in doing is buying a warm jacket. I have this downfield jacket that I wear. I like it because it's a little longer and kind of covers a little bit more so that when you're walking, it also has a removable hood, which I love. Because if I have my toboggan on, I really don't need the hood. But then, let's say if we go to dinner and it starts snowing and I didn't have my toboggan on, I could throw this over the top of it. So with like a neutral color. Um, this is kind of like a champagne color. Or you could go with a black one. And then that way it would match all your different outfits. So I hope this helps you in knowing what to pack when you go to a ski resort when you're not on the slopes, but you're down at the bottom, just hanging out. The next time I see you, we'll be leaving for Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Please like and subscribe so you can see our future videos. Hit the notification bell because we'll have a lot of videos coming up with us, from us from being in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. It'll probably be the 1st of February before they start posting because we're going for nine days. We're leaving on the 17th and coming back on the 26th. And I don't know that I'm going to be editing videos while we're out there enjoying ourselves. But who knows? I might get surprise you and get one up before we get back. See you in Steamboat.